Hello my student, Assalamu Alaikum. Hope you are fine. Today I will discuss about a particular type of joint which is called sutural joint or suture. Most probably you already know that there is a particular type of joint that is called the fibrous joint. Under this fibrous joint there are different type of joints. One of the variety of fibrous joint is suture joint or sutural joint. Usually this kind of joint is commonly found on the skull but there are different types of sutural joint as well. For the educational purpose we always try to configure how this type of sutural joints are formed. What are the peculiarities? As this type of sutural joint are under fibrous joint obviously it is under another type of joint that is called the synarthrosis. Synarthrosis means there will be no joint cavity. So most of the sutural joint are not having any, any type of cavity. If there is no cavity obviously there will be restriction of movements and when there is a restriction of movements these type of joints are usually very much fixed. Like in our skull whatever the sutural joints are they are not moving and as they are under the fibrous tissue kind of joints or the fibrous joint that's why most of the joints are formed by the type 1 collagen fibers or the fibrous tissues they are the binding elements of the sutural joint now let's see what are the types of sutural joint there are different types of sutural joint but most of the sutural joints are unique with their natures. The commonest type of sutural joint that is very much obvious on the adult skull is serrated type of joint. Serrated type of sutural joint. We can see a serrated variety of the sutural joint. So what is serrated? That means the articular surfaces are very much serrated. Can you see? It seems like the articular surfaces of the two bones are having a serrated surface that means sawtooth like surfaces and one serration is articulating with the another serration so this type of joint is called the serrate variety of suture joint or sutural joint now for the, what is the another type the another type of sutural joint is denticular we can see over here and even we can see that in the serrate type of sutural joint the articular surface or the articular area was sawtooth like but over here the articular surface are wedge shaped that means one wedge is inserted or insinuated with the another wedge this type of joint is called denticular type of suture joint now the difference is serrate type of sutural joint is commonly found in the sagittal suture of our skull. You can remember the serrate variety by sagittal. Both starts with S. Now in case of denticular sutural joint the example is lambdoid suture. Lambdoid suture is found in between the parietal bone and the occipital bone. Another thing is there is a squamous type of suture joint. We can see the squamous variety. And if we can see the articular surfaces, we can see that one articular surface is very much flat and another articular surface is also flat. And these two flat surfaces are actually articulating with each other. That means one articular surface is overlapping another articular surface. And this type of sutural joint is squamous type. And squamous type of sutural joint are commonly found in temporal bone and also the parietal bone. Temporal and the parietal bones are having squamous part and that's why the squamous part of the temporal bone is articulating with the squamous part of the parietal bone and that forms the squamous type of sutural joint. Now the very commonest type is 
plane type of sutural joint. We can see the picture of the plane type of sutural joint, very plain, obviously the surfaces, the articular surfaces of the corresponding bones are very much plain. They are just adherent with each other by some fibrous tissue. So the pain type of sutural joint is commonly found in the palatine processes of the maxilla. You know that the palatine processes at their median plane they are very much plain and they are articulating with each other and this is a plain variety of sutural joint. Now the last one but not the least a very peculiar one we can see the picture over here this is the ways and groove type of sutural joint. Ways and groove obviously one surface will be the ways like and there will be another surface which providing a groove. So the ways is inserted into the groove and obviously this type of ways and groove is not commonly that much found in our adult skull. But it is having a single example that is the rostrum of the sphenoid bone and the upper margin of the vomer. The vomer is providing the groove and the rostrum of the sphenoid is providing the ways and this type of joint is called the ways and groove type of sutural joint. So about this type of sutural joint I need to say that these type of joints are always immobile that means there will be no movement they are having some fibrous tissue who are actually binding the corresponding bones together and ultimately this type of sutural joint is usually very much membranous at the type of the development at that time during the parturition of the baby's head through the birth canal they are facilitating the parturition process but right now in the adult skull they are very much fixed so you should say that sutural joint is a type of the fibrous joint and this is under the variety of the synarthrosis that means the joint having no cavity and obviously sutural joint are having some unique features that's all about the sutural joint today and hopefully in the coming session we'll discuss about another topic thank you very much